Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to reduplicate the Woodcraft logo. I've had this one for years, and I use it on their name tags, and it's small, so it doesn't really show all the imperfections, but it, if I was gonna do it bigger, I'd want all the imperfections out. So I found a font that was pretty close, and his question was how to interlock these two O's, and that's very easily done. So let's just do that. Let's just take that, let's go Control K and break them apart. Now let's select everything and we're gonna left click, right click. And since they're broken apart, we can grab these first two letters and we can do this right here, kind of interlock them like they are. Now just grab those two O's, go up to object and convert them to a curve and then the weld comes up and you weld them and there's your two O's. Now this is pretty close to the font because the A's are, the R and A are touching like they are in the logo. The F is offset a little bit, so we need to grab the F and the T and offset it just a little bit. Now, the only difference in this logo is the W. And I'm sure if you were gonna do a lot of these, you could call Woodcraft and find out what the font is uh, if you're using it legally. But the W is actually kind of stretched out a little bit. And the, the two lines are a little bit thicker. These two lines are skinny. Uh, there are several ways to do that. And since we've broken it into a curve or converted to a curve, or we will, you can actually take, well, you wanna grab those and then shift grab that and just kind of walk it up a little bit. And there's several ways to do this. This not, might need, be the best way, but you can make that thinner. Um, by doing that. Anyway, and then the only other difference is that the fact that the, um, and you can use the nudge factor, is that the real logo has a space between here. That's real easily done. Just take your two point line and just draw some lines between these two. And I'm not, I'm not taking a lot of time to figure that out. Exactly, but I'm just going to take my virtual segment delete key and just delete those inner line and then go on top and delete these excess lines. Now you're going to see in just a second that where nodes are open. We've got open nodes. When we zoom in here. And that's very easily fixed. Just take your shape tool and select them all. holding down the control, the sh uh, shift key. Tell you what, there we go. Now it's selecting them all. And go up to windows, dockers, join curves, and I've got it set on point zero one five, which is good. And now all my curves are joined. Well, maybe they're not. Let's do that again. Let's select everything and select, select our nodes. Maybe we're gonna go point 0.1, anything close will get it closed, and now they're closed. And then all you have to do is take your Smart Fill tool and fill in your logo. And don't forget if you're gonna cut it out to remove the hairline. But that's their logo pretty close. You could work on the W and you could maybe even find a better font, but that's pretty close. Uh, to the logo itself. And I'm going to send you this file right here with both logos on it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.